Late on Saturday, social media was abuzz with reports and later images of Matthew Kanyamunyu kneeling before Acholi elders and the late Kenneth Akena's family members to ask for forgiveness. Later, the Prime Minister of the Acholi Culture Institution, Ambrosola, explained that this was part of the Matoput, a traditional ritual intended for one to realize reconciliation with an aggrieved party. He also confirmed that Kanyamunyu had indeed accepted culpability for the crime. The perpetrator, Kanyamunyu, came over and announced himself as the perpetrator and uh, confessed his guilt. He gave the, the reasons why the incident happened and how it happened and he cited his remorsefulness. While Ola was quick to insist that the Kanyamunyu and Akena families need time to be formally reconciled, many have asked what the decision means to the lawsuit against Kanyamunyu and two others. Asked about this, Dr. Adrian Juko, a lawyer and executive director at Human Rights Awareness and Promotion Forum Uganda, says that on its own, the Matoput process means nothing to the lawsuit. The proceedings in Gulu have nothing to do with the high court proceedings that try against Kanyamunyu. The reason is the Matoput process is completely different from the criminal justice system. However, it, it uh, kind of begs the question, why then did Kanyamunyu do this? when there are criminal proceedings going on against him. Judiciary spokesman Solomon Mwita seems to agree. The session, when witnesses come to testify complete, the court has to decide whether the accused person has a case to answer or not. If he has a case to answer, there is a ruling to that effect and is put to his defense. However, Dr. Jiko adds that the issues agreed in the Matoput process between the Kanyamunyu and the Kena families may be introduced into the main lawsuit by the defense in a bid to negotiate for a plea bargain. Come to think of it, the prosecution can use this kind of evidence if they get the source and the video and it's actually true that Kanyamunyu said what he said, they can get it and add it to the evidence they have to use against Kanyamunyu. So for me, I think that the, 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 the accused this person, Kanyamunyu's side, must have thought of this as a way of actually beginning the plea bargaining process. Mr. Kanyamunyu, we know that he approached the court around May or June because he's been reporting on his bail. He indicated to the registrar that he intended to pursue plea bargaining and reconciliation. And the registrar advised him to notify the state prosecutor. With the reconciliation process between the two families continuing, many will be waiting to see how it affects the lawsuit started in 2017 in the weeks ahead.